Hello, my name is Kunal, and uh, the title of my talk is Prescribed Time Convergence with Input Constraints, a Controlled Labner Function Based Approach. So, uh, this is the outline of my talk. I'll start with some motivation, uh, list out the contributions of this paper, uh, we'll present the main results, we'll show one simulation case study, and we'll conclude the talk with our cost per session work. So, uh, this figure depicts the motivation for this work. Uh, here, uh, the scenario basically shows a quad rotor, which is supposed to visit, let's say, a given sequence of areas while being confined in a given area. And the main thing uh, that is required here is that each task is uh, supposed to be completed within a given time sequence. So what we need is prescribed time convergence uh, for the system trajectories to a given set. Uh, so, uh, prior work include using syntax like formula to guarantee exponential or asymptotic convergence to, a, to an equilibrium point or an equilibrium set, depending upon the assumptions uh, on, on, on the problem. Uh, more, uh, the, in, in early 2000s, the theory of finite and fixed time stability was introduced so that uh, the convergence can be guaranteed within a finite or fixed amount of time instead of asymptotic or exponential convergence, which pertains to convergence as time tends to infinity. And more recently, time transformation techniques have been developed uh, so that uh, these finite and fixed time stability can actually be uh, guaranteed in a user-defined prescribed time. And I'll present all the technical details as we move on in the slide. So our contributions in this paper are as follows. We consider a general nonlinear controller fine dynamics and design a controller to guarantee prescribed time uh, set reachability. And, and, and that is, the closed loop trajectories would reach a given set within a prescribed amount of time. And we use a time transformation technique to, uh, to achieve that. Uh, and uh, we utilize Sontag like formula to design closed, uh, closed form expressions for the controller. And we also consider input constraints in the uh, that, uh, on, on the system and we characterize the domain of attraction such that starting in that domain, uh, prescribed time convergence can be guaranteed and if the system trajectory start outside that domain, then we show that uh, finite time convergence can still be uh, guaranteed globally. So some preliminaries uh, for uh, an autonomous system, uh, assuming that the origin is the equilibrium point, uh, it is called, the equilibrium point is called uh, finite time stable. If there exists a finite time, that may depend upon the initial conditions such that as uh, limit uh, time tends to this capital T, the system trajectories reach the equilibrium point. And it is called as fixed time stable if this uh, settling time function or the time of convergence is uh, uniformly bounded for all initial conditions. There's a stronger notion called as prescribed time stability where uh, the equilibrium point is fixed and stable, but in addition, the time of convergence can be prescribed or can be uh, defined a priori by the user. And uh, in this work, uh, we are going to use a time transformation technique. Uh, basically, we are going to define a new time domain uh, S uh, uh, with, uh, through a map theta, which would map this infinite time interval to a finite uh, finite time interval and would satisfy certain properties. And some of the examples are given below, but the main takeaway here is that in this, uh, in this new time domain, if we have asymptotic convergence, then that would imply prescribed time convergence in the original time domain. So that's the basic idea here. So, the problem that we are uh, considering in this paper is as follows. So as I mentioned, we consider a general uh, nonlinear control of line system. And the problem statement is uh, given here. So we, need, uh, we are designing a controller so that the closed loop trajectories of the system reach a general uh, closed set given in this form uh, within a user defined time t. And uh, the control input always remains bounded by uh, uh, and satisfy this kind of a control input bound. So to achieve that, uh, we use a time transformation technique. So what we do is we uh, uh, we 
uh, define the new time coordinate as uh, the inverse of this theta function and write down the dynamics in this new time coordinate where this prime denotes the derivative with respect to s and uh, the, uh, the time uh, transform dynamics is given uh, in this equation. So one thing that we need to note here is uh, that in the original time coordinate, the system dynamics was time invariant, but in this new time coordinate, it becomes time varying as there's an explicit dependence on uh, this new time coordinate S on, uh, of the dynamics. So uh, we can redefine the problem uh, uh, for this time coordinate as follows. So now we need to uh, design a controller UF such that the closed loop tra trajectories reach the set asymptotically and the control input uh, bounds still need to be satisfied. All right. So let's see how do we design the controller here. So first uh, we assume that there exists a Lyapunov function that satisfies certain properties. So the idea is that we need a uh, Lyapunov function which is positive definite with respect to set S. So this uh, absolute value X S is basically the distance of uh, point X from the set S. So it is positive definite with respect to set S and uh, decrescent with respect to set S. And uh, its time derivative or rather the lead derivatives along the uh, system dynamics satisfy some lower and upper bounds. And this is a very common assumption uh, in the literature whenever we use context like formula to design closed form controller for a general uh, controller fine uh, nonlinear dynamics. So this is not something uh, we are assuming uh, as new or this is not really conservative in that sense as well. So with that, uh, we can now design a controller using uh, the Lyapunov function that we defined on the last uh, slide. So before that, what we need is these uh, set definitions. So I, the idea is this, that first we define uh, a set DM uh, as a level set of this Lyapunov function V such that if uh, uh, the trajectories are inside the set DM and uh, the controller is defined in this particular form, then uh, the magnitude of the control input would always be up, uh, less than or equal to this uh, upper bound UM. And then D naught is just the set of all points such that the magnitude of uh, this control input defined here is less than or equal to UM. And clearly DM is a subset of D naught. And using these uh, set definitions, we can, we can define the control input in this form. So the basic idea is this, that we use this uh, Sontex-like formula and uh, modify it with this one by Y term, where <clears throat> in place of Y, we are going to use this time transformation variable. And that would basically accelerate the convergence from asymptotic to uh, prescribed time. And uh, when we are inside this set DM and we know that there is no saturation, we are going to use the time transformation. Uh, base controller when we are outside the set DM and but still inside the set D naught, we still know that there is no saturation, uh, but we do not need any time transformation. And we are going to just use this plain uh, syntax like formula directly. And when we are outside the set D naught, we know that the control input magnitude uh, might exceed the control input bound. So we basically use a saturated controller in that particular domain. And with this, uh, the main result can be stated. Uh, in this compact form. So the idea is that uh, while the controller was defined in a piecewise form, uh, we can show that the controller is still continuous and the control input bounds are always satisfied. Uh, second, uh, if we start, if, if the closed loop trajectory start uh, within the set DM, then they would reach the set S uh, within uh, the prescribed time uh, capital D. Uh, and if they start outside the set DM, but inside the set D naught, then they would reach the set uh, within a finite uh, fixed amount of time T plus T1, where T1 is a function of uh, the bounds on the Lyapunov functions and, uh, and other, other such variables. And finally, if the system trajectory start outside this D naught, but inside some set D bar, where D bar is <coughs> given in this form, then uh, the closed loop trajectory would still reach the set S within a finite amount of time, uh, which can depend upon the initial condition. So that's the main result. And now we'll see one simulation example here. So <clears throat> we consider this uh, dynamics and 
the main idea is that uh, in the absence of control input, the system dynamics are unstable, are rather unstable with respect to uh, the unit circle around the origin. And we want to stabilize it, or we want to stabilize this unit circle uh, for the closed loop trajectories of this of the system. So we consider this kind of a Lyapunov function, and uh, we consider uh, some input bounds and some parameters in the controller, and we require that the system trajectories reach this set within uh, five units of time. So <clears throat> these are the uh, simulation results. Uh, here we can see that starting from uh, various initial conditions, uh, the closed loop trajectories are able to reach this set or the unit circle around the origin. And on the right hand side, we see the control input. And as we can see, whenever the system trajectory start within this D naught, so let's see this uh, red trajectory or this blue trajectory, uh, the controller is always lower and upper bounded, uh, whether it's, uh, the control input never saturates. If we start within these sets and if we start outside these sets, let's say for orange trajectory or for green trajectory, uh, we see saturation of the control input in the beginning, but then uh, as soon as the trajectories uh, reach the set D naught or enter these uh, sets D naught, uh, there, there is no further saturation of the controller. And within this uh, time five seconds, the, the controller goes to zero, which basically shows that the closed loop trajectories reach the set uh, within five minutes of time. Uh, so to conclude, uh, we presented a controller uh, design technique so that uh, prescribed time uh, convergence can be guaranteed to any arbitrary set for a general controller fine system. Uh, and we, uh, we devised the relation between domain of attraction, time of convergence, and input bounds that are imposed on the system dynamics. And we showed that uh, prescribed time convergence can be guaranteed from uh, from that domain of attraction and global finite time conversions can still be guaranteed using the uh, controller that we propose in this paper. Uh, now, uh, one of the biggest assumptions that we made in this paper was essentially uh, the conditions on this Lyapunov function. So what we really need to explore is how, do you, how to construct such a Lyapunov function that would satisfy all those conditions. And the idea is very simple. I mean, once we have the Lyapunov function, then everything follows. We can define the closed form expression for the controller just as a, uh, just using this Lyapunov function V. So the only thing that we need to find is a Lyapunov function V that would satisfy all those conditions, which may not be very simple for a general uh, non-linear system. But then uh, for uh, very special classes of systems, let's say linear systems or uh, systems whose dynamics are polynomial, there are optimization-based methods that we can use to uh, compute or set up an optimization problem uh, to satisfy those conditions for uh, such a function V. So with that, uh, we would like to thank our sponsor uh, 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 for, for this work and I'm happy to take any questions if you have.